We are currently living in a time wherein the media is a vital tool in keeping us aware of our social and national situation. However, instead of protecting media practitioners and freedom of expression as the law states, our government itself puts them in harm's way. During this pandemic, our health is not the only thing at risk. With the red tagging of media practitioners, increasing aggression towards critics, and the malevolence of mis- and disinformation, our relationship with the truth is also being tested. Not only has the administration failed to protect journalists, but they have also taken an active and aggressive role in silencing those whose only aim is to seek and tell the truth. Ngayon nga pong May 5, 2021 ay ginugunita natin ang unang taon ng pagkawala ng ABS-CBN sa ere na isang malinaw na halimbawa na pag-atake ng gobyerno sa media. This was the second time the network has been shut down by a dictator. Only this time is more ruthless, influencing the shutdown in the middle of a worsening pandemic and laying off 11,000 media workers, adding to the millions of other Filipinos who were left, and many of whom still are, jobless amidst a health crisis. It is clear that the Duterte administration does not care for its constituents. Instead of protecting the people, the anti-terror law and the formation of the NTF-LCAC only serve to curtail our rights and oppress those who choose to stand up to these exploitations and abuses. The cyber libel law serves to send out a chilling effect on media professionals who will go there reveal the atrocities of those in power. Every day, there are journalists being killed just by staying true to their mandate of holding true to power. Noong nakaraang taon lamang, napakaraming media practitioners na pinatay, niredtag, at di makatarungwang inaresto. As everyone is confined to their homes, journalists are the ones working to keep us informed and connected. It is unacceptable that they have to fight against violence on top of this deadly coronavirus. Alternative media outlets and campus publications are being red tagged, with their staffs and editors receiving death threats from unidentified identities. Just this past year, we have witnessed the shutdown of ABS-CBN, the unlawful arrest of media practitioners Lady Anne Salem and Frenchie May Cumpio, among others, and the red tagging of our own clinic ng Parita. Ang UJP-UP mismo ay ilang beses nang red tag at nakatanggap ng mga pananakot. Recently, a team of journalists was harassed by foreign powers inside our own territorial waters. Ang mga ataking ito sa media ay atake sa kalaya at sa pamamahayag at sa karapatan sa impormasyon ng lahat ng Pilipino. We face all of these problems on top of our struggles against misinformation and disinformation, propaganda, and fake news in our spaces. There are also issues on the contractualization of media workers and the fight for their rights as laborers. These issues are a testament to how simply being critical of the government can lead to drastic results. We further stand in support of the media as a primary lens of masses towards unfaltering justice and unbiased truth. Even in these trying times, while many are blinded by false propaganda, we must not forget our right to freely deliver news to the public. We remain firm in our calls to defend press freedom and to stand with the truth. Ang media ay makapangyarihan at isang estado lamang natakot at desperado ang mamumuterya nito. Kaya naman kami sa UJP-UP ay kaisa sa panawagang ipaglaban na ating kalayaan sa pamamahayag at kaisa kami sa laban na patalsikin na ang pasisang si Duterte nang sa gayon ay makamit na natin isang mediang tunay na malaya at mapagpalaya. I, on behalf of UP Radio Circle, condemn the continuous attacks on press freedom and the red tagging of media practitioners who vigorously fight to inform the public of the truth. We at the UP Broadcasting Association reiterate our condemnation to this vicious attack on press freedom and more importantly, the continuous crackdown on the government's critics from our journalists, broadcasters, and media practitioners to our activists and human rights defenders. We also call on our government to provide a safe reopening of the workforce. Prioritize all essential workers in mass testing and vaccination. Provide enough job opportunities and humane labor conditions. and contractualization and ensure livable wages. The UP College of Mass Communication Student Council bravely stands with all of you at the forefront of fighting for our democratic right to a free press and expresses strong solidarity with the larger community of advocates who push for a free and critical media amidst all the attacks that we are experiencing in our time. We in the UP Journalism Club thank our media practitioners and stand firmly with them in their continuing duties to the Filipino public and to the truth.
we condemn all forms of attacks against a free and critical press. We stand firmly with this call to defend press freedom, defend your right to the truth. The UP Broadcasters Guild stands in solidarity with all media practitioners who are incessantly persecuted for speaking up against the injustice that this administration has brought upon its people. Kaya naman, ihayag natin ang katotohanan. Ihayag natin ang kagitingan. Ihayag natin ang ating paninindigan.